Good morning, friends. Coach Campbell here. It is April 6, 2020, and we are beginning week two of crisis schooling. I heard it called that, and I thought that really fits. We're in a crisis. We're schooling. This isn't homeschooling. A lot of us are new to distant learning, so I thought crisis schooling would be a good name, and you did a great job. We don't make it through the first week. We had some hiccups, but we made it through, and we're starting week two, so best of luck to you. Let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, let me play well but fairly. Let competition make me strong but never hostile. Forbid me to rejoice in the adversity of others. See me not when I am cheered, but when I bend down to help my opponent up. If I know victory, allow me to be happy. If I am denied, keep me from envy. Remind me that sports are just games. Help me to learn something that matters once the game is over. And if through athletics I set an example, let it be a good one. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So friends, my sweet friend, Matthew, asked me to talk about uh, foods or drinks to eat after you exercise. You have an awesome day of exercising, and you're looking for uh, what you should have to recover. And um, I told him off the top of my head, chocolate milk has the perfect ratio. It's been recommended for the last 15 years of um, protein or carbs to protein. So two to one is what we're looking for in our recovery food, foods and drinks. Carbohydrates help us absorb the protein that our muscles need to recover when we exercise. So a two to one ratio is what we're looking for. And um, now that I've had a little time to think about it, uh, what I personally recommend is uh, Greek yogurt a smoothie mixed with spinach and blueberries, which have lots of good vitamins in them, and bananas, which have potassium. Your body needs all this stuff to, to recover after you exercise. Oatmeal, fantastic, great uh, carbohydrate. So you want to use whole carbohydrates, unprocessed carbohydrates, and you want to use clean proteins. So make sure you wash those berries and, and your veggies really well, and then mix them up in a smoothie. And some people are like, ooh, spinach, I don't want to put that in my smoothie. And I can tell you this, you can't taste it. Um, lots of berries in there with it, and you won't taste spinach at all. And if it turns your smoothie green and that is distasteful to some people. When my kids were little, I would call them their Incredible Hulk smoothies. So if you feel like having an Incredible Hulk smoothie today, awesome. I would love to see it. Feel free to put a picture below. I'll give you an awesome props for, for eating healthy foods and trying to take care of that fantastic body God, God gave you. I love you guys. I'm proud of you. Make sure you check with your parents. Remember not to go to the store. This week, it's huge. We need to stay inside as much as possible. Stay on your property. So, you know, it's fine to go outside and exercise. Go outside to go for a walk. The CDC strongly recommends that. But if you can avoid at all taking, going to the store, um, limit that as much as possible. I know it's tricky. They only let you get one or two gallons of milk, and we go through one or two gallons of milk in, in a two or three days. There's six of us. So yeah, I understand it. A lot of it's hard, but do the best you can. And I'm proud of you. I'm so, so proud of each one of you for doing the best you can in the situation that we're in. It is hard and sometimes it's scary, but a lot of times it's fun. So make the best of it and cling to those fun times. Try something new, have some adventures, do some silly stuff and make the most of the time that you have. I love you. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work.